Okay, today what we're going to do is look at transferring layered file from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve. These are the edits and other changes in Premiere Pro that I've made and I want those to go into DaVinci Resolve as well versus just one single video. So if you notice on screen here you can see that I've got edited layers and adjustments that I did in Premiere Pro. I want all of those to go over as individual layers as well. In Premiere Pro you want to go File, Export, XML and then select where you want to save it. I would recommend saving it in the same folder that you have all of your other files saved in the original video files and audio files. Hit OK past the pop-up. It's basically just telling me that this might not work or everything might not transfer over properly. Over in DaVinci Resolve the first thing I'm going to do is create a bin to put everything into. You don't have to do this. This is just kind of how I like to organize my files. In DaVinci, you want to go Control i right-click, Import, or File Import to go to where the files are saved at. Now we want to import that XML file that we exported from Premiere Pro. Remember, you should put that in the folder that you have all your original video files saved in that you used for the original edit. Now let's just leave everything at the default automatically set settings. Uh, I found whenever I played with these I started to have problems so just uh, go with the automatic settings. Hit OK. Now I'm getting an error here. Two clips were not found so this is basically saying two of the clips that were used in my original edit it can't find and you can kind of scroll down here in the import log and see what it's referencing. I hit OK to get past that, and you notice on my screen now, I've got kind of these this red box here. That's basically telling me that's those files that it couldn't find. What it is is those two files are stored in a different location than the rest of the video files. But if you notice here, I have all my layers, and I have each of those edited video clips so that I don't have to go in and do all that over again. And if we play it, the sound's working great. The last movie star is basically and this is a much better starting point than having to import one solid video into DaVinci Resolve. Hope you found this useful and hope it works for you. There are tons of tutorials out there on how to do this. Some I found worked, some I found didn't. This one worked for me and so I'm sharing it with you.